A woman and two young girls were in this car this morning. That one right there when it was hit by a freight train in Gary, Indiana. No one survived. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick spent the day working to find out more about the victims. She joins us now live. Meredith. Brad, crews were out here all day at this railroad crossing investigating and making repairs. Now, they have replaced the gate that was knocked off of the railroad crossing during that accident, but the debris from the crash still lingers. This is a look at that scene. Police were called here just before 7.30 this morning. When they arrived, they located a silver Chevy that had been struck at the intersection of Howard Street between Miller and 6th Street. Officers found three people who had been ejected from the car. All three were pronounced dead at the scene. They have since been identified as Shermika Herbert, who was driving the car, and her two passengers, 11-year-old Denia Brown and 13-year-old Dakey Mitchell. We know the three of them are all part of the same family, yet we are still working to learn how they are related to one another. One woman who witnessed the train hit the car says the gate started coming down and one car went over the tracks, making it through. But when Herbert attempted the same move, she didn't make it in time. I mean, I, it was like a blur. I, I got out, the person in front of me got out, and I was screaming, he was screaming. And I had to pull myself together so I could call 911. I reached out to CS, CSX, who owns the freight train involved. They tell me they extend their deepest sympathies to everyone impacted, and none of their crew was injured. Reporting live in Gary, Indiana, I'm Meredith Barrett, CBS2 News. Meredith, thank you.